if you're between states, as states, and I have nothing to do with that. I and mean, whenever these people get on TV and point the finger at the hobbyists, they fail to mention how many AR-15s they themselves are shipping to Mexico, to Al Nusra, through Turkey, with CIA operations, and you know all over these theaters of war in the Middle East. I have nothing to do with that now, or will I ever? Obama cries for first graders in Connecticut. Does he cry for the first graders in any other country to which he's shipped these assault rifles himself? I didn't send them there. How'd they get there? You know, with all this talk lately about gun control, it occurred to me that I have yet to see a single politician who can explain to me how they plan to take guns away from the criminal thugs who are out there on the streets right now. Oh, sure, you'll hear plenty of talk about how they plan to take guns away from us, us law-abiding citizens. But if you take guns away from all of us legal gun owners, then the only people that will have guns will be the bad guys. In fact, I'm curious. I want to see a show of hands right now. All those for gun control, raise your hand. All right, there's one, two, three, four. Anyone else? Ah, see there, that figures. All the usual suspects. Any questions? Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get six months free at PrisonPlanet.tv, but only for one more week. Next Monday, the special that only comes around once a year ends. In fact, we've never offered six months free before, but I really want to get more people to join and to be able to watch the nightly news, to see the live reports we do, the special reports, all my films, ebooks, and so much more. One person can share their membership with 20 people, and you are funding the absolute very leading edge, the vanguard of the resistance to the globalist operation on every front. We have to have our own platform that is harder for them to censor, harder for the system to shut down. PrisonPlanet.tv. We put out the daily radio show free with the video and audio feeds at InfoWars.com forward slash show. But it is the members that get the nightly news exclusively and first and the commercial free video podcasts and audio podcasts that are paying it forward and financing and helping so many other people see the truth when we put the videos on Facebook, YouTube, and it's PrisonPlanet.tv that finances so much of the cameras, the equipment, the crew. The reporters, you are becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. You get exclusive HD, higher quality, get it first. And then you can download it, share it with friends and family, share your passcode with them, your username. It's a win-win, and then you're helping finance to put it out for free to everybody. PrisonPlanet.tv. Clean, pure drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new groundbreaking gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water. Save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping. This is a limited time offer, so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off. Go to InfoWarsStore.com or call 888-253-3139. President Barack Obama's State of the Union was clearly directed by the District of Criminals' belief that the majority of Americans are misinformed, gullible, tax-paying idiots. Obama played to the corporocratic millionaire's club. Peppered with a Syrian refugee and anti-gay marriage activist Kim Davis, this was propaganda theater of the highest order, replete with a Hollywood-style pre-show to fuel Obama's mountain of lies. The largest deception aimed at the declining viewership that actually tuned in was Obama's skewing of the state of the economy, something real Americans know far too well. We're in the middle of the longest streak of private sector job creation in history. More than 14 million new jobs, the strongest two years of job growth since the 1990s, an unemployment rate cut in half. 
Here's what Obama's not telling you. Not only are 70% of U.S. jobs now held by immigrant workers, but the average U.S. stock is already down over 20% this year, and the global economy is flirting with severe recession. In fact, the Royal Bank of Scotland even warned its clients to sell everything and exit the stock market as soon as possible. Even Obama's controller, George Soros, says the sky is falling. Perhaps what better reason than this to tell the American people People, it isn't. Obama's claim that 900,000 manufacturing jobs were created in his past six years twisted the fact that manufacturing jobs have actually diminished by 230,000. Obama claimed he cut the unemployment rate in half. He is measuring the fudged 5% unemployment rate by the dismal 10% unemployment rate he was responsible for in October of 2009. As more jobs go overseas and the labor arena shrinks back here at home and baby boomers retire, nearly 95 million Americans are not in the workforce. 35.4% of the country is on welfare, 38.8% of which are white and 39.8% which are black. While 62% of working Americans have less than $1,000 in savings. Another blatant lie was Obama's insistence that he attends his intelligence briefings every morning. Now, as someone who begins every day with an intelligence briefing, I know this is a dangerous time. But that's not primarily because of some looming superpower out there, and it's certainly not because of diminished American strength. Breitbart reported during his first 1,225 days in office, Obama attended his presidential daily briefing just 536 times, or 43.8% of the time. During 2011 and his first half of 2012, his attendance became even less frequent, falling to just over 38%. By contrast, Obama's predecessor, George W. Bush, almost never missed his daily intelligence briefings. The Government Accountability Institute report revealed that President Barack Obama attended only 42.1% of his daily intelligence briefings. Obama appears to be speaking of an entirely separate intelligence briefing, as a leaked 2012 Pentagon document revealed the U.S. and other NATO nations deliberately backed al-Qaeda in Iraq, which morphed into ISIS, and and other Islamic extremist groups to overthrow Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Nearly 18 million people have gained coverage so far, and in the process, healthcare inflation has slowed, and our businesses have created jobs every single month since it became law. In reality, however, Obamacare is killing the economy forcing businesses to cut back on hiring full-time employees because the law requires firms with 50 or more full-time workers to offer them affordable health insurance or pay a fine of $2,000 to $3,000 a worker, while the average taxpayer will be subjected to an incremental annual fine for not signing up for Obama's flagrant unconstitutional health care disaster. And if that arrogant display of power wasn't enough, Americans were quickly reassured of Obama's unyielding abuse of power the morning after his State of the Union address by White House Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough, who said, We'll do audacious executive action over the course of the rest of the year. I'm confident of that. More lies and unconstitutional executive orders. Could you expect anything less from a Manchurian candidate that rose to become a New World Order puppet. John Bound for Infowars.com. So if the federal government will not intercede in our affairs, then we must rise up and kill those who kill us. We want some of this earth or we'll tear this goddamn country up. Stop them and kill them and let them feel the pain of death that we are feeling. As a student of my teacher, I think I should always be dignified in my expression, although sometimes in passion, I lose it. <laughs> and so I thought about, you know, when they said Farrakhan, uh, he uh, 
wants to kill all white people and he's advocating 10,000 fearless men to go out and kill white people as though I'm insane. That's insanity. And I've been teaching for 60 years, sir. And no one who follows me has ever gone out and killed a white person, harmed a Jewish person, bombed a synagogue, or even put some swastika on a synagogue, because that's against our religion to deface a house of worship. I'm saying that to say this. I, when I said in Florida, you know, naming all the blacks that got shot down. And according to something I just read, where one black man every 28 hours is shot by a policeman. And young black men are nine times more likely than other Americans to be killed by police officers in 2015. According to the findings of the Guardian newspaper, 1,134 deaths at the hands of law enforcement officers happened last year. As a black man who loves my people, I'm grieved not only at police killing us, but I am grieved at our killing of each other, which sometimes is 10 times more than what white policemen have done. So in my passion against that, and this has been gradually increasing with me over the years, I said, if the federal government does not intercede to see that justice comes to us, because that's the government's job. It's not my job to kill my killer. It's the government's job to arrest the killer, bring them before a court of law, and punish them for their misdeed. But when the government fails to do it, what are we to do? We have to defend our lives. And so I said, stop them wherever you find them. Not everybody, just the ones that kill us out of the law of justice. If the government won't arrest them and do that, somehow we're gonna ultimately do that and then it leads to what they'll say, it's a race war, no. We are not in any position at all to engage in a race war. It's ridiculous, it's destructive, it's suicidal. However, persecution in the Quran, it says, is worse than slaughter. And you know, you talk about 1776, and you are so right. But in 1776, America had enough. The colonial uh, people under Britain had enough. So when Patrick Henry said, give us liberty, or we are willing to pay the price, which is death, you force people into that when government fails to do its job to redress the grievance of the people who are suffering. And that's it for our show. I'm Jakari Jackson from the InfoWars Command Center, and we'll see you again tomorrow night. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA, so it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's 19 dollars
you take one or two of these and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are it's what i've experienced and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.